It's all I can think about all day is this visualization of, of what this guy did. A Pacific Beach resident still traumatized by what he saw, a man beating his puppy to death because he said the spirits made him do it. New tonight, 10 News reporter Emily Valdez tracked down that witness who held the suspect until the cops could come arrest him. Emily. 22-year-old George Ramos is behind me here somewhere sitting in a cell in the downtown San Diego jail. Now, neighbors tell me that that was his puppy and he lived in that complex. We heard screaming. We didn't know if it was a woman or an animal. Like it was, it was loud. It was scary. Our peas at a wire Hispanic male killed a dog with his hands. And I'm like, that's not a dog fight or a cat fight. Like this is horrible shrieking. George Barasa and countless other neighbors heard the puppies screaming about 5 a.m. in this Pacific Beach alley off Oliver and Jewel. <laughs> One neighbor who did not want to go on camera told me his wife called 911. He grabbed a flashlight and walked over to Ramos. Okay, the turn around. The suspect is in the alley. He told me it looked like something out of a horror movie. Ramos hunched over near the dumpster, hitting something on the ground with a rock. Okay, so there's a male in the alley. He's covered in blood. The neighbor realized it was a puppy, small and black. It was already too late. He apparently put the dog in this dumpster. The neighbor says he asked Ramos why he killed the dog, and Ramos calmly told him it had cancer. He says Ramos then reached in the dumpster with a blue shirt and pulled the dog out. He's got some kind of blue towel or shirt in his hand. The neighbor says he stopped Ramos from walking off before police got there. Probably shouldn't be put on air, but I think he should get exactly what he did. You know, that's just me. The dog was innocent. He's not. And Ramos is charged with felony animal cruelty. His bail is set at $25,000. I'm live in downtown. Emily Valdez, 10 News. So horrible, Emily.